Hi everyone, welcome to Life as Compass. Thank you for being here. Today we are doing a reading for Gemini for the second half of June. Happy birthday, Geminis! I hope you have an amazing solar return. And let's go ahead and dive into this. Let's see what's happening for you. We're going to pull several messages and use some tarot cards, some oracle cards. Please do keep in mind that not every message will resonate with every Gemini. And your message could be all the way in the end of the reading. So do stick around. And uh, Jemmys, if you find these uh, readings helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you all. Let's go ahead and start. We're going to start today with the Soul Journey lesson cards. So let's see what messages we have here for you. Gemini, second half of June. What's going on with my Jemmys? This one right here. We have service. Okay. What else is here for Jemmy? Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Actually, we have two. We have denial in reversal and trust. Oh, wow. No wonder we have two. Okay. All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, clarify these. Let's, go, let's start with the service card. I feel good when I can help others. Nice. King of Cups, Two of Swords, Three of Wands, and King of Wands. Interesting. Gemini, I feel like there is a few people around you that might need your help. Um, I feel like there could be a few people around you that, uh, mm, you know, might uh, benefit from your advice or uh, from uh, you spending time with them or just, uh, you know, um, giving them your attention here. I do feel that. There could be a water sign, there could be a fire sign. And um, for some reason, what comes through is the conversation. They need the conversation. The, the, they need a some sort of advice from you or just being able to talk to you, you know, bounce off ideas of you. This is what I feel. And I feel that in this uh, second half of June, that's what you're going to be doing. And this is the way of you providing service to others. Um, I feel like you're a little bit indecisive <laughs> if you want to, you know, um, how much of you and how much of your time you want to invest to this. I feel um, that um, you're not even sure, you know, if this is something that is a right thing for you to do. But I feel that uh, you will, though. Um, it seems to me like um, Gemini's that I'm talking to at this uh, in this particular message, you have um, you have a lot of free time on your hands. It feels like you are waiting for something. You could be waiting for your ships to come in. You could be waiting for some sort of maybe even a job to come through for you. And it seems to me like you just have quite a bit of time on your hands and you are actually able to help others at this time. And I feel like this is what you're going to dedicate your free time to. This is what it, this is what it's like for you, Jamie. And it, um, once you speak to these people, once you help them out, once you give them some sort of advice, I feel like you're going to feel so good about it. This is what's coming through. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, see what is this denial in reverse for my jammies. The Empress, beautiful. King of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. Okay, I see. So um, it feels to me like you are in your head about something. Now, this could be definitely some, somehow connected to your uh, financial situation. This is something to do with your money here. And maybe for quite a while, you've been in, in this state of denial. You were maybe in some sort of state of fear, maybe fear of starting something new, maybe st uh, fear of starting your side um, hustle here that will bring extra finances, maybe even fear to apply for new jobs here or something like that. I feel like you're out of this. You're not in uh, in denial mode anymore. You know that you are an empress. The other message I'm getting from this as well is some of you were, um, for those of you who were looking for the job, um, it feels like it's been taking a while and you might have started applying for the jobs that are 
uh, kind of um, mm, lower from uh, from for, from what you really deserve like what i mean is like if you have a resume and you've been a manager for so many years you might have even started applying for an entry positions here um out of you know fear not getting anything else but i feel like you're coming into that position when you realize that you are an empress and you have a lot to offer and I feel like uh, it's going to help you out. I do feel that there is an offer coming towards you. I do feel that your finances will be growing. You're going from page of pentacles to a, a king of pentacles here. And some of you will get a position that you truly desire and deserve. Yes, I do see that there is a little bit of weight here. And you are very much worried about this. But I'm glad to see that this denial here is in reverse. You are aware of your own worth. That's the message that is coming through here, Jenny. And that's going to be very beneficial for you. There could be a Taurus that is uh, very significant for you here. And they could be somehow helping you out with your financial situation here. All right. Let's clarify this trust. What is that about? Trust. Trust for Gemini. Trust for Gemini. Temperance, oh yes, trust in divine timing. That's exactly what it says. Wow. Eight of Wands, look at this, and Queen of Pentacles. Okay. This too, all right. Six of Swords and Justice, wow, beautiful. All right, Demi, your advice is trust in divine timing. This is, you've been very patient. Again, we're talking about some sort of uh, financial situation here. And I do feel that uh, you've been patient and you finally came to that time when you're trusting in your divine timing, you're trusting in your inner voice, you're trusting into your own intuition here with that temperance. This is divine timing. And <laughs> look at this. Things are start moving for you. The energy start moving. There is a, a fast uh, mo uh, moving news coming towards you. It has something to do with your finances. Definitely could be some sort of um, job offer that is very lucrative for you. And you're moving to the Kama Shores. With that Six of Swords, you're moving to the Kama Shores and you're moving towards justice. I do feel for a lot of you, you're getting, uh, for those of you who are in job market, I see you getting a, a very fair job offer here. And this is for those of you who are in some sort of supervisory role and some sort of management role here. I do feel you get in that. And yes, justice is here. Justice is being served. You've been um, waiting for quite a while. I feel like you've been waiting for this to come through for many months for some of you. And it is here for you. It is here. Trust in divine timing. It's all going to come through in divine timing for you. And yes, the energies are now starting to move much, much, much faster from what it used to be. For some of you, you will, uh, you might need to um, move uh, for, for a job. I do feel that energy here, but I feel like you will be very happy with that move. This is what I see. A Libra and Sagittarius are standing out here, but... You know, it doesn't have to be. This could be your moon or rising sign. This could be just the people around you that somehow involved in this process for you. Okay, Jamie. Let's go ahead and pull for you an energy oracle card. Let's see what this deck has for my Gemini. Message for Gemini. What is happening in the second half of June? What is happening? happening for Jamie? Woman holding a heart. Okay, let's figure out what this is about. I feel like we've gotten the message regarding a possible like a, a good job of offer for you also in your previous reading. But you know that it's divine timing here. All right, let's go ahead and uh, clarify this uh, woman holding a heart. What is that for Gemini? Four, four, four in general could be a very significant number for you. Look at that, we have an Empress, Three of Swords, Two of Swords, and a King of Swords. Interesting. It feels to me like um, this could be for a masculine um, Gemini here. 
This could be somebody who are, who um, embraces a lot of masculine uh, energy at this time. You know, we both we all have both feminine and masculine energy, but I do feel like uh, you've been through a heartbreak here. It does uh, show the heartbreak here. Um, there there is this um, a period of being kind of uh, on a crossroad, not sure where to go from here. Uh, this could have been with a Taurus here. You could have been dealing with a Taurus. Uh, you could have been dealing with somebody who was, um, you know, in a very good uh, position financially here. This person seems to be quite established. But there is a heartbreak here. There could have been a third party involved. It doesn't have to be. But uh, this situation puts you somehow in a crossroad. It feels to me like you're somehow in a crossroad here. Not sure which way to go. But look at this. There is a heart here. There is a heart here and a new dawn coming up for you. I feel like uh, soon you will notice that there is somebody else who uh, wants uh, your attention. There is somebody else who's uh, very much interested in you romantically here. This is what I see. There is somebody coming in who has some sort of um, feelings for you. And you are standing in this uh, energy of king of swords, a very intellectual, very... Um, attractive, uh, um, very smart. I do feel that energy around you. You have some wisdom around you. <clears throat> and um, some of this wisdom also came from experiences, from previous experience that you've been through, from, uh, from this heartbreak that you've uh, been through. You've learned a lot through this. And I do feel that this person that is going to come in and, uh, you know, show attention to you is going to get you out of this um, energy of uh, not knowing which way to go. I feel like you're going to go towards this new heart here. This is what's going on, Jamie. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way. And let's pull some other messages for Gemini. Let's see what else comes through for you for this second half of June. Let's use the Light Seer's Tarot. Messages for Gemini. Second half of June. What's going on for Jamie's? What's going on for Jamie's? Look at that. The King of Pentacles has been coming through for you. The Moon. Two of Cups. Four Wands. Nine Swords. <laughs> and eight of wands in reverse okay um it feels to me like um some of you are concerned about uh, your family situation here especially if you're in a connection in a connection with an earth sign here um you could be married to this person you could be just uh, living together you could be uh, you know sharing an apartment or a house here i do feel like um you've been in this union for quite a while but it feels like this person is keeping some sort of secrets from you. And it feels to me like uh, there's something that they're not telling you here. And it's uh, kind of putting you in this mode of uh, not knowing what to do next, not knowing um, how to proceed. It feels to me like there is some anxiety that is happening here. With this eight of wands in reverse, um, like, like I said, it's that energy of you not sure, not sure how to proceed from this, how to get out of this uh, energy here. I do feel that the, this person is very grounded. I, um, they, they have, you know, financial stability and I do feel that, you know, they um, support this family unit or this, you know, connection here financially here. But I also feel that they have love for you. With this two of cups, I do feel that this person has love for you. Um, there is no my, uh, there is no sword cards in here. There is no communication between you two. And this is what makes it difficult. My advice here is to communicate. For once talking about 11-11, uh, uh, this is a divine union. This is a very stable household here. But you need to communicate. You need to communicate. You need to start moving the energies. You, not, you need to start talking to each other. This is what I feel, Jamie. There is no communication here. There is a very big disconnect when you're just stuck in your head, overthinking the situation, thinking at night about the situation, but not necessarily sharing your worries with your partner here. This is what I see. All right, Jamie, let's see what else is coming through here. 
Message for Gemini, second half of June. What's happening with Gemini? Magician in reverse. Why is magician in reverse? Six of materials. Queen of materials. Hmm. Rays of inspiration. The hermit. Okay, I see. Okay. So it feels to me like a lot of you are concerned about your financial situation here. There's a lot of pentacles cards here. There is also a career card here with this uh, muse of inspiration. You are concerned about your financial stability, about your financial independence. It seems to you like uh, seems to me like a lot of you are trying to um, you know, work with energies and possibly manifest uh, some sort of uh, progress, um, some sort of um, increase in your finance uh, finances here. But with this magician in reverse, it feels to me like some of you um, almost reverse manifesting here. It's either you overdoing this or you manifesting from this energy of lack, energy of uh, not having what you desire at this time. But the six of materials is talking about equal give and take. It's talking about equal exchange of energies. It's talking about what you think about, you attract to you. So um, this is uh, this is what's going on here. You, uh, you got to change your, um, your mindset. There needs to be a little bit more positivity in your mindset because I do see financial abundance uh, coming in for you. For some of you, the message I'm getting you actually will be um, not working as hard as you do now and making more money. This is what's coming in for you in the future. I feel there will be a very good uh, a position for you that uh, you will come into. Your career uh, path is open for you. But like I said, you got to change a little bit your mindset and make sure that you manifest from the positive point, from the point that you know you deserve this, you know this is coming in for you and just bask in the energy of financial abundance because it is coming in for you. And like I said, for a lot of you, this will be less work and more money. This is the message that is coming through. All right, Jamie, let's go ahead and let's see what we want to do. Let's move this out of the way and see what Kippa has to say. We're going to pull some Kippa cards and find out what else is happening for you. Gemini, second half of June. What's going on for my Gemmies? A child. Oh, 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 oh. Distance horizons. Official person. Um, for those of you who uh, have uh, like adult children and they are moved away from uh, from you at this time, they live separately. I feel like they will surprise you with a with a visit, especially if they live quite away from you, uh, like you know, distance wise. And if also if they are working in some sort of um, maybe even military here, I feel like there is a surprise visit coming here. I do feel that there is a possibility of them coming in for you uh, to visit you and they're not going to tell you before they come. Look at that. World travel. Yeah, this is what's going on. Um, doesn't necessarily even have to be your child. This could be like a, you know, a younger generation in your family. And yes, I do feel that they're away from you. Like I said, they could be in the military. They could be just having some sort of government job, some sort of official job. For some of you, they could be working in some marine industry here. But uh, yeah, there is a surprise visit, a very pleasant surprise visit here coming up for you, Jamie. All right, interesting. Okay, Gemini, let's go ahead and close off this reading with some coffee cup oracle messages for you. Let's see what we can get from this deck. Look at that. We have groom coming out for Gemini. Opportunities and home. Ooh, look at that. And the key coming out with that gate. Some of you could be definitely getting um, a new place to live. Some of you could be opening up a key, with a key, a new home for yourself. I do feel that uh, you could be moving in with somebody. Uh, it seems to me like uh, you've been in a relationship with this person for quite a while and they now um, finally kind of ready to um, move in with you. It seems to me like uh, this relationship was going slow and steady. 
you know, this is uh, this is probably been uh, taking quite a while. But again, the turtle is giving me that energy of a home. And I feel like uh, a lot of you are coming into a new home, but you will be moving in with somebody here. This person could be a little different. They could be um, in, uh, they could be standing out by some sort of, you know, some qualities about them, uh, making them stand out in the crowd here. I do feel that. But I feel like this is something that you wanted for a very long time. This is a partner that you've been with for quite a while. This is what I see, Jamie. These are the messages that are coming through today. I hope you found something in this reading that was helpful to you. And if you did, please comment on the reading, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you here again. Bye for now.